All right, so if I was to ask you who Jeremy Green was, you might not necessarily know who that is yet, but this Rascal Flats member sure does. Here's Nashville Insider's Jennifer Vickery with more. We love to introduce you to brand new artists, and today it is Jeremy Green, live from Laguna Beach. It's good to see you, Jeremy. Thanks for having me. This is so cool. I'm so excited to be here. We got to start with what's making all the buzz right now, and that is your connection to Gary LaVox. And you put on a charity event called Cove Aid. So tell mm -hmm. us a little bit about the event and then kind of how that led to Gary hearing a little bit more about you and your talents. So I'm a CEO of a company <clears throat> that's like number one in the monetization field for gaming. So we basically monetize live streamers, you know, games. Um, <clears throat> when COVID struck, I wanted to do something really interesting because I knew we needed to help and do our part. So we invited every celebrity we could think of to play video games against each other, like Rob Gronkowski and Waka Flocka and Ray so Schremer. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to use this opportunity to do the halftime show myself, but I'm going to like call out Gary V on Instagram and see if he'll come sing with me. So I did, and his daughter saw it and like was like, Dad, you need to respond to this. And he did and did it, and it just came out crazy. Back to the tech stuff that you mentioned. So that's kind of mm -hmm. been your world the past several several years. It has. You've been <clears throat> extremely successful in this, and it all started with an idea you got in a trailer. Yeah. Um, so after seeing this movie, The Social Network, <clears throat> like I looked at my friend who was a programmer, my friend Derek, and I was like, "Hey, we got to build something." He's like, "What are you going to build?" And I'm like, "I don't know." And I went to Ben that night, and I dreamed of the of the idea of facial filters and overlays. And no one knew what a facial filter was. It didn't exist. Overlays didn't exist. Um, but we thought we had something very cool. So I cold called a guy named Tim Draper, who owns a $19 billion hedge fund out of Palo Alto, and pretended to be the CEO of Google assistant just so I could get him on the phone. Wow. And then I pitched him the idea. <laughs> Flew me out the next day. Then all of a sudden, everybody from Kylie Jenner to Justin Bieber, like pretty much everybody started using our product. And all of a sudden, before I knew it, I'm being launched at the F8 conference with Facebook and in 900 million devices. So tell me a little bit about this single. We have to talk about this first single. It is called My Way. It's an awesome song. We were talking a little bit before about it's just so relatable. Gary was like, hey, I got this producer you got to meet. <clears throat> this kid named Mick V. He's really young, but he worked on the Kane Brown project. We met and we started going through records and he was like, hey, I got the song. It probably fits your life. And it just fit me so well. It's like, oh, I have to sing this. And it just came out so right, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So let's go back a little bit. So you initially, you got into music pretty young. Um, yep. You kind of used it as a, as a coping me mechanism as a teenager, just for some personal things that you were going through. Tell me a little bit about that. <clears throat> I mean, I grew up really, really poor. Um, you know, the state took me away when I was 13, 14 years old because my mom was, a, you know, substance abuser and drug addict. And yeah. I was a kid that, you know, People look at it and go, oh, that kid's never going to make it. He doesn't have an opportunity. He doesn't have a shot. And um, I just chose different. I knew I was special. I knew I had other things I was supposed to do in life. And I didn't sit back and accept what my life was. It's so great to talk to you. You have a very cool story. Um, I love you guys. Thank you so much for having me. It's such a blast. I'm so honored. Thanks so much for watching this week's Nashville Insider feature. If you liked what you saw, be an insider and hit the subscribe button. And also check out our friends Wilson Fairchild on their YouTube channel. And if you want to see full episodes of Nashville Insider, go to countryroadtv.com and use the code INSIDER when you sign up to get a free month. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next week.